The Discovery Channel. I love oh, Animal Planet. Wait, maybe Planet. this is ESPN. Nah, dude. NASCAR. Oh, no, wait, it's no, BBC. NASCAR. It's uh, Top Gear. Oh, of course. That's a, see, that's a stig. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Me. Hi, everyone. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know this thing was recording. <laughs> um, I'm Kyle. And I'm James. And welcome to another fun-filled, exciting episode of... Diamond Dogs Gaming. Thank you. I can't put it. Come so, light, 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 light. if you're there watching and you're thinking, why are Kyle and James wearing the same exact outfits? I just you love know, this shirt. All right, man. Fuck off. Throughout their entire going quackers, almost, we're just getting a lot done. Yeah. And, you know, we just did wrap up our production on the going, going quackers series. Which and we just want to cool down with a game that doesn't require much thought. And that, for me at least, is ATV Off of Fury. I mean, I'm very, very particular about my ATVs. I figure out what's the best for roaded wheels. Being... Oh, fuck, let's just play the game. So, you know, we're not going to go through the races. We're just going to go what I always did as a kid. Um, go through chaining and your own. talk. You know, just... <laughs> I freaking forgot about this shit. Well, you know, it. um... You know, I, I might talk a little bit about this game in my past because it does have a bit of significance, and you know we're gonna show you all the stupid shit that we like to get up to Welcome in here because we ah. did. Oh, sorry, we did find a lot of stupid stuff that could be done. I don't think we'll be able to go through every level, but at least a few. Um, <laughs> what is it? Freestyle? Freestyle? That's yeah, freestyle would make sense. So it's not uh, training; it's freestyle, right? Practice. Uh, Canyon Country, that's like the starting for everywhere. Mm. Now, I have this locked down to a science. The same guy, the same... I don't know, I could go female, but bam. Doesn't really matter. I always loved my Moose Blue with my... Where is it? My Havoc Milan. The... Milan. I always like, yeah. I always like that blend of the blue and the green, I don't know why. It doesn't have the best traction, but what's <laughs> traction compared to everything else, really, though? Oh, baby. It, it's just traction. The O'Neal. The O'Neal followed up by... The... Let's see. I want something with top speed, nice speed and handle. Or, uh, traction. Wow, they're ruined. Oh, it's a different color. What the fuck is top speed? It's out there somewhere. I'm gonna... Hey. There it is. 400. Oh. 500. Ooh. But that one has the bars. I mean, you know what? Because I want a good mix. I'm gonna go with... Ah, screw it. Yeah. Have a pro go have it. Here we go. So. Good for you, Anthony. The longest jump and the single stun. Dude, Anthony is a champ, alright? He's probably one of the developers. <laughs> the developer. Anthony. Thank Anthony for these games. Yo, thank... Uh, games? Games, yeah. You know, ATB Alpha 3, 2, 3, 4... The DLC that came with it. Here we go! Alright. Now, as we just drive into the fucking mist... Wow. Also, yeah, just to give everyone a heads up, I'm on the bottom. And uh, I'm on the top. James is on top. But, uh, yeah, so James, what you Chain! Mean? Train? Yep. Alright. Chain! Always oh, gotta wipe out once to the chain. This, it's a sacrifice to the train. Oh my god, this track, this handling is god You gonna awful. take on the chain? Well, if I can find it. I'm just gonna ride the track. Yeah. How about let's do a good old fashioned, uh, start things off with a good old fashioned. Face off. A joust? Yes. Alright. You ride one way, I ride the other. And this is just one of the many antics we get up to. Yeah, I think I. Did I lap already? I don't think so. Oh, this music is copyrighted, James. Is it? I mean, it's licensed music. Oh. This is gonna be interesting. Ah! Oh, yeah, I forgot the about fake the out. fucking ghost train! We're not the ghost train, the uh. The Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. Freaking fake out. I'm sorry, it's cheap. This is real. <laughs> it's so flaccid. Yeah, it kind of was. It was real flaccid when you, like, <laughs> hit each other. Alright, so let's... Alright. 
There's so many things to do, but I'm just gonna ride around for a bit. Well, the one thing I wanna do... I'll see you on the other side, James. Other side? Other side. No, you don't get to take that right from me. Fine. You know what? How about we find it together? Alright, well, find, well, let me find you. So, as we ride off to find the great, um... The great discovery. Let's talk a bit about this game. You know, this right. game holds a lot of good memories for me because it's one of the first few games I got on the PlayStation 2. Oh, sorry. And Fuck. The PlayStation 2 is, as it stands, probably my favorite gaming console because it was the console of my childhood. You know, it played PlayStation 1 and it had a lot of great games for PlayStation 2. And I remember Christmas morning getting this Gran Turismo and Medal of Honor Frontline. Such and this an odd mix. Well, Gran Turismo and ATV came with PlayStation 2. Frontline we got because, well, we were in the <laughs> You just fucking knocked me out with your goddamn ATV. <laughs> Fuck you. Hey. And, you know, I was never really one to go and, you know, do the races or anything else. I just loved practice mode, riding around, seeing all the weird stuff I can do, and... Like this one. Yeah. And, you know, playing with friends, you know, it's just... It's a good game to relax on, you know, it doesn't require a lot of thought whatsoever. And sometimes you just need that, especially after you get, play a game like Going Quackers. And it's weird, like... Whenever I play this, I just can't help but to be brought back to my childhood, just like... Just to be nostalgic? Yeah, going and, like, you know, doing all the things I did as a kid, and... You know, Crap. listening the to the same songs and all that. What's the ghost uh, mode button? You hold L1 and R1. Okay. So, you know, this game will always have a special place in my heart. Um, now... If you might be wondering why Kyle and I are being so careful to get to wherever we need to go, you'll soon find out. <laughs> careful, all carefulness goes out the fucking window when that happens, though. Alright, once we get over the, uh, edge, that's where I'll wait for you. Alright, cool. So, like... And then we charge together. Into the void. Up. Up, 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 up. Is it there? Yeah. Alright. Alright. You ready? Hold on, where are you? I'm, uh... Right here. Right. Okay. Let's... Hold on. Let me reset my camera. Fuck. I hate when it does this. Ready? No, I have to reset my camera. Alright, fine. Alright, here we go. Let's go! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I don't understand why. And what is this Marvel called? The, the Fling. <laughs> I wonder see. why. And let's just do that again. Okay. Oh, wait, no, it starts in the middle of the map, right? At the very edge. Oh, yeah, it sets us back. The thing about Fling is, you know, uh, I've been playing this since I was six years old. I can't remember the very first time I did the Fling, but, you know, when you're driving, uh, driving around as a kid and you just get to the point at the edge of the map where it just flings you back, it's... Kind of terrifying. Yeah, but it's also kind of fun. So I went, found the fling in every map, showed my friends, showed my friends. It just became a staple of every ATV outing. And you know, it's so weird, like you see this clearly a flat land and it just flings you Fucking back. Fucking yeets you to the next, you know, lifetime. Oh yeah. Where'd it go? It's there. Watching. I might, I think I'm going the other way. Oh and well. Another thing I always used to love about um, this is you know, these maps are actually bigger than you might think. And, you know, there's no real way for you to find your way back, you know. There's no landmarks or anything. I mean, there are landmarks, like, oh, like the, the train, train station, and the train close. station and all that. And, um, I, I always used to love to get myself lost on purpose only to find myself back many times that I used to try to be certain I was finding my way back only to get hit with another fling. I did it, guys! Um, yeah, now to explain my history with the, uh, PS2. Um, I got my PS2, I think, when I was about, like, five or six, and it was my second game console. My first one being my, um, N64. And 
honestly, I miss, as much as I miss my N64, my PS2 is still, like, my primary system. Well, it was my primary system. Um, the first games I got on it were Crash Bandicoot, Wrath of Cortex, and Spy Hunter. Yes. And Spy Hunter, that's a game we also have to play on this channel soon, James. Is that? Uh, and... Space it! Oh, I think I know which one that is, yes. Yes, and Frank Simulator. And Frank. And we'll explain that when we get there. It's If and when. Difficult to explain. <laughs> I mean... Especially when you're riding around ATVs. But yeah, honestly, those games, like, I never really experienced gaming as much as, like, when I started getting, like, actual games on my PS2. Not saying that Crash Band wasn't, but when I got mm -hmm. games that have, you know... More complex Wait, did controls. I just find something? Yes, I did. What did I tell you? Oh, so, okay, it's just what. Um, like when I started first playing, um, Devil May Cry, uh, Kingdom Hearts, like games that had actual, you know, depth to them. I never. There, I, that's a feeling you just can't compare to. And, and it's, in, in a way, the places do is just a golden era. Not only because of that nostalgia, but. You know, you see like the PlayStation classics going back. You see the need for the the, rema the remasters. It's just like this nostalgia is a powerful feeling. I'm proud of the nostalgia and like the overall feeling, like because this is the first time in our generation that we're actually feeling like this wave of nostalgia. Oh yeah. And like I know that there's like people like, oh yeah, you don't know what nostalgia is. Like we're '90s kids. Yeah. Well, to some extent. Watching our car like the cartoons we watched and. You know, all things considered, you know, like, like do I, said, I wish I could have experienced the PlayStation 2 era as like a older kid, you know, to kind of like experience everything as it came out and, you know, have a job and the money to get stuff, more games. Yes, but I'm kind of glad to be at where I'm at now, looking back on everything. I mean, I'm not that old, but I still experienced it. I just didn't, you know, I didn't play like the Ratchet and Clanks or the Sly Coopers or the Jack and Daxters that were really big. But I appreciate them now. See, that's my one argument against um, younger gamers is like, if you play a game when you're younger, you don't Yay. really appreciate it as much as you, you do when you're older. Yeah. I mean, like, granted, there are games that you're gonna be like, "Wow, this was so much better when you were younger." But games like Ratchet and Clank, fucking um, Ratchet and Clank, Sly Cooper, Jack and Daxter. Those games are always going to be better when you're older because you're actually going to like you know appreciate the humor and all the thought and depth that went into it. When you're six, you're you know just like whatever. It's a game. I'm playing it. Mom, get me something new. I want a juice box and gushers. <laughs> oh yeah. And Bachman's pretzel sticks. <laughs> but like. And know. hey, what's wrong with that? I still like my juice boxes, Bachman's pretzel sticks, and gushers. And my PlayStation 2 games. That's what we do every Saturday night. <laughs> I remember, like, what, how many years? Well, when we were 15? Oh, yeah. Seven years ago? Yeah. Like, our friendship, I mean, it, it, it started in school, but the first time the three of us, Aaron, Kyle, and I all hung out. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't turn back from a fling. You know, the <laughs> first time we all hung out, we played the PS2. Metal of Honor Rising Sun, European Assault. Oh, my God, yeah. We spent a good, like... Um, I don't think I had my PlayStation 3 yet, so we didn't play the Call of Duties, but... No, we... What else did we play? It was mainly... No, we did play... It was mainly Medal of Honor. It was mainly Medal of Honor, because we had... We were so fucking dumb. Um, and this is my favorite story to tell about us, James. Oh, you yeah, and you know it. what it is. I know what the it is. The fucking achievement system. The reward system. <laughs> the reward! So... We thought that we were so big and bad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we were fucking schmucks. Who was it? Was it? Was it? Like, it came in the mail, right? It was a yeah. Victoria's Secrets catalog. Oh yeah. And we were we thought it was such a hot shit. We're just like, oh my god, it's basically porn. And uh, like, in the meantime, we should try to find our way back yeah. for the other for the other uh, yeah. Um, but we were like, oh my god, it's so hot. So basically, what we did was every time that we would get a kill against one another, um, we would take. The fucking coupon book, rip it open, and flip to the first page that we see, and we'll all just gawk at it for a good, like, two minutes. Oh, yes. Granted. And of course, there was poor Aaron who just got the coupon. No, that was me. Was he? <laughs> that was me. I could have sworn it was Aaron. Yeah, it was totally me. Aaron got the good stuff. Oh, wow. 
I mean, I think you both did, and then I was like, it's my turn, guys! Because, like, I sucked at first-person shooters, mm -hmm. like, significantly. Now I'm a lot better, because, like, and all I do is play Titanfall and Overwatch when I'm not and here. And just to think, that was only seven years ago. Six and a half, technically, but it doesn't seem that long ago in retrospect. I mean, it feels like, I feel like our friendship is definitely, like, there's a lot of shit that happened in our friendship. Yeah, but... Like, are there any other tricks? Ooh, that... on our way back, I want to restart this. Fishbowl is my favorite track. Copyrighted. All credits go to Fishbowl. All credits? I don't think... Oh, wait, no, never mind. The main band is Straw Horse. I found it on iTunes. Did you, did you download it? Yeah. Oh my god, yes, James. Look at you. Yeah. But, um... I'm trying to think what other, cause like I remember like I didn't have my own car at the time, so like my mom would be like, "Hey, God, I'm coming to pick you up." I'm like, "Eh, don't pick me up for another two hours." And she's like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, "Just playing some video games." As I sit here with my fucking Victoria's Secret coupon book. <laughs> um, and what we're, we're still doing the same stuff. And we're still later. doing the same stuff. I mean, I have my coupon book right here. <laughs> In a way, that that did start the foundations for Diamond Dogs. I mean, no, I think the real foundation. Chain. I think the real foundation started with, um, Biocock. Yeah, but, you know, as far as, like, the three of us hanging out. As, yeah, as far as the three of us go, I remember it was every, also, every summer when I was younger, I think up until I was, like, 16, um, I had this tradition where I would beat all the Kingdom Hearts games and beat them, or try to beat them in order, just so when... Yeah, excuse me. When Kingdom Hearts 3 came out, I would be hella ready for it. Granted, look where we are now. But, like, I remember James, like, we stayed up from fucking, like, 6 in the afternoon until 3 in the afternoon the next day playing Kingdom Hearts to beat the game. And, that you know, it's kind of good, though. Because, in a way, when Kingdom Hearts 3 does come out, we can binge. beat the games again, appreciate them, and... Make series off of them. If, you know, if that ever happened. By that time, we actually might be successful with YouTubers. Ah, but we'll always have time for Kingdom Hearts. Now, one quick note that I'd like to make is, you know, how you can get your ATV up here. Now, it might not seem like much, but it's the little things that matter, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, nothing can beat us trying to climb the house. I you know we gotta attempt that and the roof in this video. Alright, alright. And maybe going to that one canyon. You know the one where you try to drop down and land on the bridge? Is that possible? I think we did I it I did once. it. We did it once, but it was possible. I'll do it again. And for those of you guys who don't know what this is, you're about to find out. You're about to find out the beauty that is. Oh, Whee! Oh. <laughs> what? You're such a bitch! Whee! Ow! <laughs> Sorry. Asshole. I'll wait for you on the other side. Oh, is this the drop? Yes, it is. All right, let's do the drop first then. It's around here somewhere. Uh, nope, this is just Larray Caverns. And for those of you who don't know what Larray Caverns is, it's a set of caverns in Virginia. Nope, nope, it's over here. Oh, I have to get this. As fishbowl wraps up. I love this breakdown though. Okay. All right, cool. I made it. I made this sharp turn. Wait, how do I get up here? You know, in a way, it actually kind of, um... Makes me sad that they just kind of don't make games like this anymore. I mean, obviously, I, I don't use the word... The process was cheaper back then, and it didn't take much than games now, but... You know, you won't see, like... This. Sales just determine everything. It's sad, and I think we'll get, like... There it is. Oh my god, yes! I'll but, wait for you up here. I have the high ground. Yep, yep, you do. Alright, but, um... Yeah, the main way that you're gonna get games like this oh, nowadays would be through fucking indie. And it's here kind we of go. shame. Oh. oh my god, yes, we have to edge ourselves. And then try to hit the brakes. to try to ease our phone. Oh, wait. This... Uh, this? Uh, so I'm, on one, I'm on the opposite side. Or maybe you need to get some momentum. I don't know.
almost did it. We almost had it. There actually were a few times. Fuck. Fuck. It's the lean! Fuck. Oh. Oh, 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 I think I know what to do. What? I mean, oh, you fuck. need to try to, like, you know, turn your ATV, like, to try to hit, like, it's tough to explain. Like, you need to try to turn it towards the middle. What, the middle of the ramp? I mean, the, yeah, uh, bridge? Yeah, it's like, you, you need to, yeah, and then hit the brig at a certain time to try to stop yourself. Oh, I also have to, like, re-edge myself, so I'll do this. If we get this on video. If we get this on video, we're gonna send this to Guinness Book of World Records. <laughs> right. And then right, like, in the fucking comments. Yes. Welcome! Oh okay. man, we will get this! See, what I'm... It's I tough, because you need bit. to try to hit your brakes at the right time to slow down and not hit the... Hit the cliff. And if I get on there, I will stop. Unless you oh! wipe me out, but... <gasps> Ooh, that was so close. I'm like... Oh. You have your system. Like, I'm trying to balance my uh, ATV, but like I lose the fucking. Fuck. Ooh, that was so close. Ah. Ah. I should have ah. gotten a bike with good brakes, but I can't bail on my classic. <laughs> Fuck! You just ran me over nine times. Ago. <laughs> it's still shock too that kills you. There's no shock here. <laughs> Apparently, to these guys. It seems so simple, but so hard. It's like a fucking carnival game. You <laughs> carnival games for the... <laughs> for the... Oh! Fuck! <laughs> we didn't! That was like a... You almost had it. If one of us gets it, that would be good enough for me. Like, <sighs> it's just... Fuck! <laughs> God damn it, Nick. Oh, what? Did you have it? I went through it! No. I fucking ghosted through it! This is not a real bridge! Ah, ah, ah. What? I got point track? Right? <laughs> Hold on. Fuck. I think... Ah, 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 ah. I think you have the better side. I'm just like, breaking as I'm falling. Ooh. <laughs> Are you sure we should be like <laughs> going like this? No, like because I have a feeling it could have. <sighs> oh god, damn it! Why is that shock so great? Yeah, why is it such a? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I swear, guys, don't don't, <laughs> don't like judge us until you try this. <laughs> no, I want to say don't like take our sound out of the fucking video and like take just listen to the audio. It's gonna sound real fucking weird, <laughs> <laughs> especially around this. Uh, 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 <laughs> just... <gasps> oh, you did it! Yeah! <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. What? Can I drive in here, or is it gonna kill me? I'm afraid to move. Oh! I, I, I'm gonna get this, Kyle. We will both be on the bridge. I will. I will stay here and just look at this vagina. <laughs> I will. It's tough from this angle, you see. Did you just bail? <laughs> like, it even... It's tough because I always hit that. Yeah, you hit that clip. So... <laughs> It definitely is tougher from my angle. You know what I'm saying? Why don't you uh, get on my side then? I'll try. Holy shit, we fucking did it. Damn. I'm not moving from this spot. Alright, good. I'm out of the loop, finally. I'm just gonna sit here and shimmy. Oh, fuck. And see, kids, it is possible. Now I gotta figure out where it is. Not there. Okay. You're... Whoa! Oh! <laughs> they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand.
But it's okay. Once you hit it that one time, you'll be fine. So you have to like gas into like the middle of the bridge and then break it. I think it all depends on the angle. <laughs> I just bounced that time. All right. Ooh. Brutal. Savage. <laughs> ah. <laughs> These fuckers. It's <laughs> just incontinent. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> the ghosts of many riders passed! <laughs> Alright. It's tough, especially at this angle. Like, <laughs> I think that to... also considering we have both of us doing it at once. <laughs> Doesn't help. Let me try to get it at a different angle. I fucking had until my ATV decided to do a 180. Come on, buddy. <gasps> I did the, the ball! Did it. I did it. No. no. Yes! Oh. Uh, don't you fucking knock me off! <laughs> no! <laughs> God damn it, you bitch. Like, I. I I can see what you have to do. It's yes. Yes. We did it. <laughs> we did it. We fucking did it. That... And this is documented. I don't think we can really accomplish more than the most beautiful thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, one more time. Let's see if we can do it. Nah, man. You think we gotta try something else now? Uh, well. Well, hey, you did it. Wow, that was easy. I guess once you get used to it. Alright, do you want to do the roof? Or do you want to do... Train. The... What did the train? You want to do the house. Oh, uh, let's do the house. Yeah, let's do the house. Alright, this is... Watch, now we're going to be stuck on this, like, death cycle. It's possible to break it. What? Wow, <laughs> you are getting really good at that. <laughs> okay, man. This is actually like, I've been playing a lot of, it's like, um, Line Rider. I'll meet you at the house, I'm whatever not... that is. Fuck, what was the name of that game? Not Line Rider, Free Rider. Freak Style? No, not Freak Style. Freak Style Fridays. As long as you get to the tracks, you can follow it until you can see the house. I just gotta figure out where the hell, I'm just gonna do this. I think it's this way. I can't be sure. But the tracks lead to everything. I Easy did. boy. I oh, hear this. I found. Oh fuck. You found. Oh, no, that's not it. Oh, train. End me. Ah. <laughs> I love how dramatic. Wow. A kooky. Fuck. I'll wait for you. Ride me. The heel clicker. Now you might be wondering what are we doing in front of this house? You know, what is the goal of this? Well, as you might see, there is a little way you can wedge your ATV in there. And it goes up and around the house. Now, one might think, why would you do that? Our answer, because it's fun. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Show me hump in the fucking ATV. Oh. <laughs> yes! Oh, fuck, I can't see. Alright, alright. I'm doing this blind. I need to try to... Alright, cool. I did it. Alright, made up the stairs. No, 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 ah, ah. Why? Okay. Okay. I need to get at a better angle. I'm also gonna take this little back way, just because time's sake. Oh! Wait, Okay, so... Square and X is a reverse. Uh, oh, I'm you at, made it. Yeah. Oh. Wait, wait, stay there. You're gonna fucking... I will join you once I get up there. <laughs> I, I, you just have to fuck the house a couple times. I need to get at that angle. Okay. But where? So, all you have to do... Oh, I know what I have to do. 
Can you do it, Dex? Can you do it, Dex? I, I did this first. I did the bridge. <laughs> I pretty much invented these stupid Challenges. little missions. Yeah. If you, if there's anything that you guys want us to try, if you play this game, leave a comment below. We will attempt any dumb stunt in this game. Anything that you might want us to do. It's very tough. Cause I'm trying to get up there for the sake of time, but it is, it is a delicate process. It's super delicate. Look at that turn. <laughs> Look at that swift turn. And why is he going there? Is he some kind of chump? Come on. Go. I know you're eager. Oh. Yeah, that's how you do it. Train! Hi, train. I like trains. Why are you so tempted to... Go into the house? No, to go into the railing. Well, you're really not meant to be up here. Fishbowl. Uh, <laughs> why? No, my, my ATV player is just super... ATV player? <laughs> Alright, Kyle, I made it. I do it, Ma! Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I back the fuck up? <laughs> no. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> we made it. Oh, okay. Okay, next challenge is the house. Well, Alright, That's Lead the most recent one. We did that with Aaron, right? I think, yeah, that was one of, like, we, it was you, me, Aaron, and David. Yeah. Fuck, I'm trying to get a good trick in, too. Uh, I don't even know how to do the tricks. Um. Oh, yeah, I guess just button mash. It's not even button mash, it's just, like, uh, press a D-pad option and one of the face buttons. Oh, here it is. Oh yeah, this is when we try to land on top of the house. It's possible. We've done it before. Oh yeah, quite a few times. And then I think this is the last challenge of the video. Yeah. All right, we just gotta find the house. The, I found it. You found it. Okay, there's the house. Now, we did this on the other side, right? Uh, I don't remember how we did it. Did we use the parasails to get up there? No, 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 no. We, uh, the ledge, remember? If I could stop screwing up with these kites. Yeah, you're right. Because, right. like, we had to ride up the ledge. I think it was this one. All live together in the same fish bowl. Because <laughs> the earth is, like, 85% water. 80... <laughs> Are you saying that the ocean's, like, 85% water? No, the earth. <laughs> I'm going to get these lyrics tattooed on my dick. Oh, shit. <laughs> I beat you to it! <laughs> God, we need a good running jump. Uh, we can't hop off our ATVs without dying. Exactly. Alright. And me. Alright, I'm gonna go and get some... Air. Good air. Air bud. Oh, oh, oh! They need to make it! Alright. So... That's what you gotta do. You gotta give yourself some air J's. Gotta get, gotta get my Jordans on, dude. Now, the good, the good thing about the house, it is a good platform. Like, it, you have a lot of landing space. Alright, and you then... You just gotta make sure you're going at the right angle, as A. Avon once said. And... What? <laughs> the house is like, nah. Not today, son. <laughs> um, hello? <laughs> Goodbye? I, I mean, I guess. I guess. Fucking... <laughs> just let me grind on the house. Jesus Christ! All right, this is this is my our last attempt. Really? Well, not last attempt, our last challenge. I mean. Oh yeah. All right. I will fucking if I can get onto the bridge of death, I can totally do this. Yeah, I've man. I've done it before. We conquered the bridge of death. We conquered the house. Now we will conquer the other house with the kites. All right, do this. Now I want. To... Now that was too weak. Ah! <laughs> uh, uh, uh! <laughs> The thing is, you gotta. Yeah, like. At an angle. You gotta like, cut it a weird way. To, try to go in at this angle, because I have a feeling this angle will give me some good. Some good cut. Uh, because, you know, you get to go along the house. The house's length. You know what I mean? Oh. It'll give you more chance to break and land instead of going right over it. But if, if it can make it that far, you know? It's tough. It's like, I need. Because right now I'm starting, like, at the. Okay. Maybe if I try over here, like somewhere in the middle. Try this. So I gotta get my speed up, and I fly up, and then, and then, damn it. Oh, 
no, but you need a good running. Like what I do is I wait until I see this tree here, then I fucking gun it. Then, when I get up in the air, <laughs> you slide <laughs> I through just, it. I got just grind on that shit. I hate the respawn spot. It's like super right there at the hill. Because they know that guys like us are gonna try to fucking break the game. Oh, nothing can stop me from breaking this game. I'm gonna break this game like broke my will to live. You also think you might want like if leaning forward's a factor? Oh. Uh, yeah, because you need to like balance your weight. This game I'm is what's gonna. Ass. This game is gonna teach me how to be a physicist. It really will. I will learn these game physics inside and out. You know, it makes you wonder if the. Go. You think if they actually tested this? Yeah. It's like, oh, hey, that's gonna be fun. Aha! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. I gave myself plenty of room. For your respawn? For my respawn, uh, I think. Yeah. Except I'm at the worst possible angle. Ah. Uh, Alright. We uh, have until 36 to hit that. What time is it now? 34, 10. Oh, we're gonna do it. If not, we'll just make it a 40 minute special. Oh, the 40 minute. Alright. Because, I mean, we need to get this fucking. We need to prove to these guys that we can handle these challenges that they will send in us. I will. I think you were going about this wrong. There has to be something else. I wish that we had the first video, like, where we actually did this. This video is now. Now. That time I just completely overshot it. I feel like it needs to be at like the perfect um. It's just a lot. We're all just busting nuts over here to, to hit this fucking. Like Sora. They don't know that video. We can always remake it. Oh God. Oh. oh. Look at that bitch falls on the floor. Look at that bitch passed out on the floor. Oh. 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 Oh my. That was like a close one, you know? But I feel like I'm getting closer. Alright. Alright, find this. Mihoi. Minhoi! Oh, come on. Fuck. Yeah, the spawn spot is really fucking awkward. I know. It makes you think. The spawn spot. Got it. Got it. Alright, now you stay there. That's right, you did the curve trick. Yeah! <laughs> right before 36. <laughs> that was fucking... So, Thanks, guys. You know, I know we didn't beat the game. I mean, there's but... no more way you can beat this game. How about we give it a rating anyway? Sure. Um, I would say, for a game like this, even though we just did the free roam and everything, mm -hmm. um, I would give it... I'll give it an 8. An 8 out of 10. Mm -hmm. uh, mainly because, well, one, we just had so much dumb fun exploring the desert wasteland that is uh, Arizona and climbed on top of this house, landed on Death Defying Bridge, and, like, did all the stuff that gamers or that we thought was near impossible to do. You know, I guess the message of this game is perseverance. Yeah. On that note, you know, I was going to give it a 7.5, but I would give it an 8. Because all things considered, I feel like that nostalgia boost just kind of pushes it away. But I'll save that for my last bit. Okay. So if I did go at the set of 7.5, it's a good game. You know, I didn't play all of the game, so that leaves a little bit of room for that unknown potential. Okay. For what I did play in the free room, like I said, it's fun. I mean, you go around doing tricks and... You know, you practice, obviously, for the missions, but for me, the main point of this game, you know, isn't about the reasons as it should be. It's just that dumb fun. The tracks, they fit perfectly. I mean, come on. In the other one, we tried to go around and try to land on, on top of the chain. 
which he never actually did, but we'll keep trying. Well, that would be, if, if you want to see, if you guys want to see us fucking try to land on top of a train, a we, moving train, we will do that. I think we've done it once. Maybe we. Have. I think we've done that once. We're gonna and be professional. We will attempt it again, but you know, by <clears throat> for real. Yeah, like I said, getting up the house, landing in the roof, commenting about that fling. That's all dumb fun, and it's especially fun if you have it play with someone else. Hey. Now, for that extra boost to a score of 8 is that nostalgia factor. Obviously, this is one of the first three PlayStation 2 games I had, and obviously that's always going to have a special place in my heart. And it's a game I can always come back to to get that nostalgic feel and to just have fun. So, you know, when I give it an 8, it's like it's not saying that it's better than like another game like I wouldn't say it's better than Kingdom Hearts, but like I said, if you take a look at that nostalgia factor, that genre, and just how much you get out of it, it deserves an eight, but in its own kind of different perspective. Understood. Well, lads, as our time draws to a close, we want to say thank you for joining us yet again on another exciting episode of Dime Dog Gaming. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you like these videos, if you want to share them with your friends, we really appreciate it. And if there's anything you want to see us play, please feel free to put it in the comment section. Let us know. Our link to our Facebook and our Tumblr will be in the description. We'll see you next time. There you guys. I'm Kyle. I'm James. And we'll catch you later. Bye bye. You see you.